Hello everyone, uh, this is your next uh, music theory lesson. Uh, last week we looked at um, uh, treble clef and the staff. Uh, we're actually going to just correct a few things, so please go back to the sheet that you did or submitted uh, and give yourself a tick or cross to the following. So, um, number one, to the sheet is pretty self-explanatory. All you had to do was draw a treble clef really well. Okay? Unless your to teacher told you to go back and do it again, hopefully you did this well. Alright, so the next thing was to... Uh, number two was to identify the notes that were shown. So in other words, uh, notes that were shown here, 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 here. Um, sorry, lost my place. Here, 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 and here. So, uh, that this is number two from the uh, treble clef and stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this means you missed a video, so you'll need to go back and do this. Okay, so the first one was given to you, and the answers are as follow. G, F, B, F, E, E, A, D, and C. Hope you got that. So, the other way around uh, was to draw the notes. Okay, so you were given these letters. Let me rub this out. Let me uh, rub this, find a rubber. You were given letters at the bottom. The first one was given to you, where it was this or this, and then you were given these letters. D, C, B, E, A, B, E, A, uh, sorry, uh, G and F. So these were the ones you were given. Alright, to have done this correctly, these are the following you had to do. Now this one could have been either this or this for the E. This is A, this is G, and this is either this or this for F. Okay, hope you got that. Please give yourself a tick. If you got over half of it, that's good enough. If you got it all right, all correctly, well done. If you didn't get any correctly, please speak to your teacher for help because it is only going to get harder from here. Please make sure you get help. Alright, let's continue. Now, the next thing we are going to look at is... Oh, well, let me tell you now. Uh, last week we looked at the bass clef. Uh, oh, sorry, last week we looked at the treble clef. This week we're looking at the bass clef. So we said that the treble clef looked like this. And we had notes in the lines. And we also had notes in the space. Let me just get a different colour. All right, so there's a few things that are different between, or what is the same, is the, we're still writing notes on the lines or spaces, and it goes up alphabetically, and also goes in a stepwise motion between line and space, line and space, just like the treble clef. We also said that on treble clef, it was every good boy does fine, or deserves fruit, that's for the lines, and then space spells face. And it happened to be in alphabetical order. Also, it went up to G and then restarted back to A. Like I said, we're going to look at Y in a moment. Now, today though, we are looking at 
the bass clef. I would like you to write this down. A heading that says bass clef. Do not copy anything else here, uh, out yet because we're going to make a few changes here. Now, let me tell you what is exactly the same between treble clef and the bass clef. Starting with the same is only the notes written. You still write notes on the line or space for the bass clef. Now, there's a few different things. Is the actual clef at the start. So like I showed you in the past, the treble clef looked like this. Okay, just real quick. And then, now, we have a new clef called the bass clef, which looks like this to draw it. We draw a dot, go around, and do like a, uh, I guess a C type of thing, uh, like a backward C with two dots between line four. Hope that makes sense. That is the first difference. So this is what we called a bass clef. Now, the notes here, we said at first, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F is what it was for treble clef, but it's not the same in bass clef. Now, a bass clef looks like this. It starts with, on the line, as a G instead of an E, a B, D, F, and top one, top line is A. All right? That is the, the that is different. It used to be every good boy does fine for treble clef, but for bass clef is now G B D F A. In the space is actually there's two ways to work this out. I can tell you is A C E G, okay, or in alphabetical. G, start back to A after G, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and it goes up alphabetically, stepwise, between line and space. So that is the second difference. In bass clef, the notes are written differently. The only thing that is the same is the whole line and space uh, pattern. But the clef is different, and the notes in bass clef are different, the actual letters. So, now, a couple of ways you can remember these. One is remembering the bottom line as G. Just like you remember the bottom line for treble clef was E, for bass clef the bottom line is G, always G. Then, going up alphabetically from line, space, line, space, line, space. Another way to remember is good Boys do fine always. So that's a kind of a alt, uh, um, adjustment from the every good boy does fine. We can say good boys do fine always. That's the way to remember the lines in bass clef. Now the biggest problem is don't mix up the lines of bass clef and treble clef, they are different. So make sure you decipher these rhymes. Now, we said that space spells face in treble clef, but bass clef doesn't have a proper word for it. So we actually come up with a different one. All cows eat grass. Excuse my uh, vertical handwriting. Now, uh, can you see what I mean? Well, you can't answer that, this is a video. So please make sure you understand what I mean here. You can see that this is different to treble clef. Pause the video now to copy this out like this exactly, please. Pause the video now. Okay, so assuming you have done that, what is the difference between treble clef, or why do we have treble clef and bass clef? The reason we do that, and that's mainly for um, 
the instrument that plays them. Low pitch sounding instruments play bass clef because these are for low notes and treble clef uh, is used for instruments that can play high pitches. Okay, we'll explain that further down the track, but that's basically uh, the gist of it. This is all you need to learn today. So,